Okay, so with Sid and Ansley, they're about the same size. Uh, obviously, Ansley is the white woman. Sid is the uh, man of color. And uh, they're both blue belts. However, Ansley got her blue belt way before Sid. She is, in my eyes, purple belt level. Um, and she's just a motherfucker to fight with. Now, Sid is very, very strong. I don't know if you guys have seen Sid's physique, but when he posted a picture of him sliming out of a flotation tank naked, he's fucking jacked. Um, now, again, Sid is way stronger. Obviously, he's he's got a male physique. He's 20 pounds heavier. They have a pretty... This is in their house, by the way. They have this workout room in their house. Uh, they... All, I don't know. They are the most combined jacked people I know. So, uh, that being said, Ansley was a blue belt before Sid even started training jujitsu. He got his blue belt pretty quickly. He's very good. He responds to coaching well. Um, if you asked him, he would probably say he has some flexibility issues. It doesn't really come through. Uh, he almost choked me a couple of weeks before quarantine started. He, he like very, very quickly, he exploded into a choke. He was, he was, uh, it was a guillotine, I think. So he like very quickly got his arm around my head in a way that I was like, that made me in the, while we were fighting, I was like, whoa, that was so fast. And then I was like, all right, I might be getting choked here, but I'm not obviously. I'm so he's choking me and I, it took me a while to get out. And there was another moment where I was like, whoa, there's some progression there. So that being said, he's 20 pounds heavier than her. She's in her fighting prime. He's in his fighting prime. Um, if you, I would, I would say the skills edge goes to Ansley, but Sid's getting there and he's, uh, I don't want to say more athletic, but definitely more physically, physically imposing. So that, that to me is why this seems fairly even. Um, and Sid would probably be even more confident than the way I'm selling it. All right. All right. I haven't fully watched it yet. Here we go. All right. Right off the bat, Sid's weight's too far forward here. He's trying to use his knee to... He was trying to keep her guard separate. Now uh, his weight was too far forward. She got to use her hips because she got the triangle attempt. He's tight here and he's heavy here. She's she's being kind of relaxed right now. She's not going rigid. She's not tightening up. Or she is tight, but she's not like freaking out about it. She knows his pressure. She knows his physicality. She's prepared for it. She can handle it from anybody. She's not even panicked here. She's working the turtle... Some people don't like the turtle position. I love it. The position Ansley's in right now is... I, I surprise people from here. So I, I value it. So I know that she's feeling okay. What's Sid doing? Dude, that was like a pro wrestling move. That was like when you call out to the crowd before you do your uh, finisher. Ansley's doing great getting her back to the floor. If someone's on your back, you have to try to scrape them off using the floor. She did a great job doing that very quickly. Now Sid's got his foot through there. Giving him some leverage. Ansley didn't like it. She clears it. He's got one hook and he's got an attack on the arm here. Be careful for Ansley's tramp stamp. It'll surprise you every time. It'll come out of nowhere. You never remember it's there. <laughs> Look at the pass. Ooh, did you hear that gasp from Sid? He's got. He's having air issues. And Ansley's. You haven't heard a breath from her. She's got pressure. She's not heavier, but she's got pressure. She knows what she's doing. He's got nothing left. I would say that she was loose when uh, her back was on the floor. He, he's, he's fading. And she secured a choke. I don't know. That was some sort of cross-collar choke. I actually missed what the choke was. I thought she was just passing back to side control from uh, north-south. Let, let me double check that. Let me go to the replay. Dude, that was impressive. Let's go to the let's go to the finish one more time. Okay, so she's under the arm. I think I know what she's doing here. Yeah, okay. So while while she's I, I I guess her fingers might be in the collar back here. 
like under his shoulders and back into the collar. What does she do? I wonder, I wonder, I, it was some sort of cross collar choke. So she grabbed one of his collars and had her elbow on the opposite side and then just twisted it. It was like a clock choke from top. I don't, I'm, I'm mystified. I'd love to know exactly how this finish played out. I'm not going to pretend, I'm not going to pretend I could read that. But that was a relief. Tapping out, dude, getting choked right there, that was a relief for Sid. 